Hey guys, Frank here, and we just got our iPhone in. USB-C, so you might expect, of course, connected to your computer, it sees an external hard drive, and you start copying your files. Yeah, that's when I realized it's Apple and not Android. So I was actually looking for a solution to use that USB-C connector. And I was very hopeful because when you connect a hard drive to your phone, it just recognized the hard drive. When you connect an SD card, it recognizes the SD card. So my disappointment was a little bit, well, a little bit, actually a lot. When I saw that when I connected it to the MacBook, nothing actually happened. Yeah, you can make your backups, you can go through photos, but I just want a solution where I can get my images off very fast, very quick. Because let's be honest, you can do it over Wi-Fi, for example, with Synology Photos, but sometimes, especially after workshop, we have so much material and those files are really big that we just want a fast solution to get it off. And of course, well, you can connect a hard drive, copy everything to the hard drive, then connect the hard drive to the MacBook, but that's not the solution I want. So I started a question on social media like, hey guys, do you know this problem? Now you get a lot of responses from third party solutions, like for example, download this app and you can empty your phone. And in all honesty, it's not something that I want to do. I think it's something that should be native in the operating system. And that was when I got the answer to my question that actually surprised me. There's an app for that. And it's actually native from Mac OS. And I totally missed it. So this is why I make this video. Not, hey guys, look what I discovered, but more like, hey, this answer I got, I didn't know. And maybe you didn't know either. Okay, first things first, of course, connect the cable to your phone. And the first time you will have to trust your computer, in this case, we already did that. And as you can see, there's an app starting up called Image Capture. Now, I don't know how I missed this one, but it's a normal app native to your macOS, so you can find it in your application folder. When you want this app to start up immediately when you connect your phone, go to the three dots and just select Image Capture. So you can select Photos, Preview, Mail, or Image Capture. Now, of course, Lightroom also starts up automatically when you connect your phone because it sees this as an external drive where photos are stored. But sometimes you don't want to go through Lightroom, for example, when you're traveling or if you just want to get videos off and you don't use Lightroom for videos. You can, of course, buy a third party app, but I think this is way faster and also way easier. And it is native from Apple. So you know that when there's an update, this will always work. And it works pretty simple. You just select your images and you just drag them to whatever folder you want and it downloads the images on full speed. So as you can see, easy peasy, connect your phone to your computer and download all your images without any problem. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, Please leave comments below and smash that like button because we really like that. But most of all, tell other people about our channel so we can grow. See you again next time. Bye, guys.